हेलो चैंपियंस वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट पार्ट फिफ्थ ऑफ द मेमोरी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन रिलेटिव द सी एस आर नेट जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव द प्रीवियस फोर पार्ट यू कैन वॉच ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल पार्ट वन पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री पार्ट फोर एंड ऑल अदर लेक्चर्स अवेलेबल नाउ द टूडेज क्वेश्चन आई विल कवर रिलेटेड टू द कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन एंड द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू द इंटेगल इक्वेशन so i have received the two questions from you so i uploaded the two question solutions in this video if you have some more questions related to the calculus of variation and integral equations send to me i will upload their solutions again in a very very simple manner now so it's a very simple approach if you remember my last minute revision on the calculus of variation i will use the same shortcut tricks clearly say your f will be y dash square Divided by x raised to power alpha. Fine. Then which of the following is the extremal for the j three, j of three that is alpha is three, j zero and so on. So let's start with the firstly alpha is equal to three. Fine. That is for the j three. Then what will be your f y dash square divided by x cube. Then by using the Euler equation d by dx of del f by del y is my zero. Fine. This number, this is f. This number is my zero. So that implies d by dx of twice y dash divided by x cube is zero. Derivative will be zero. That means y dash divided by x cube is my constant. Or you can say y dash is equal to c x cube. Fine. Now, now the most of the students are try to. solve this equations and get the answer but remember you are in the mcq your target is to discard the options and correct the options so agar aap isko solve karoge it will be c over 4 x4 plus beta fine now listen very carefully if if the first is the right answer of the problem you can compare then c by 4 must be 1 over 15 and beta must be 14 over 15 fine or you can say c must be 4 over 15 and beta must be 14 over 15 ye hona chahiye na now let's start with this how you can check whether they are right or wrong what is the given condition y of 1 is 1 is it satisfied 1 plus 14 15 satisfied y of 2 is 2 16 plus 14 30 is a fine now you can substitute here y of 1 is 1 c over 4 plus beta y of 2 is 2 4c plus beta there is no need to solve them fine you can substitute the value of the c and beta in this equation and check whether they are satisfied or not c over 15 1 over 15 plus 14 over 15 satisfied second equation 4 into c 16 over 15 plus 14 over 15 satisfied yes the first option is the correct state is it fine now Look at the second options. It's said for the j zero. This number will be zero. That implies only y dash square. By the Euler equations, you will get zero minus. It will be zero. This implies y dash is equal to constant. That means y is equal to c x. Now, if you compare this equation, c will be my one. And again, you can apply the given conditions. One is equal to c. And two is equal to two c. Clearly, say c is equal to one. Satisfied. B is the right answer. Look at the third options. Third option is for the j one. Then your f will be x y dash divided by x. Then zero minus d by dx of two y dash divided by x is zero. This implies y dash is equal to c x. Fine. Now if you integrate them it will be c x square over 2 plus constant now if you compare them the c over 2 is will be half beta is a constant number it is my 1 but you can see it's a coefficient of x also also but in this case there is no coefficient of the x so that means c option is the wrong answer now look at the fourth options again this is for the j1 now if you compare them c over 2 is a constant is a coefficient of the x square beta is my constant it is my 2 over 
थ्री इज इट फाइन नाउ यू कैन इंप्लीमेंट दी गिवन कंडीशन इफ यू अप्लाई वाई ऑफ वन इज इकल टू वन वन इज इकल टू सी ओवर टू प्लस बीटा एंड टू इज इकल टू फोर डिवाइडेड बाई टू प्लस बीटा नाउ यू कैन सब्सटीट्यूट दी वैल्यू सी इज माई टू ओवर थ्री एंड बीटा इज माई टू ओवर थ्री सो इफ यू सब्सटीट्यूट हेयर टू ओवर थ्री दैट इज वन ओवर थ्री प्लस टू ओवर थ्री सेटिस्फाइड टू इंटू सी फोर ओवर प्लस टू ओवर इज ए सिक्स सेटिस्फाइड ए बी एंड डी आर माई करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके लुक एट दिस अनदर वन इट्स अ वोल्ट्रा सेकेंड इक्वेशन एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर एफ एक्स प्लस लैमडा टाइम्स इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम द जीरो टू एक्स टी माइनस एक्स स्केयर यू ऑफ टी ऑफ डी टी इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस इक्वेशन I can solve this equation by the Laplace equations. For more details, you can watch about my resolvent. You can watch by about my resolvent equations. So I let me show you. That is a kernel. Fine. You can see. You can. You can watch about my this Volta equations lecture. If you already watch them, then you can get the answer in a very very simple. Men. So, what is the shortcut for x? How you can solve the value of the u? Fine. U of x will be Laplace inverse of Laplace of the f. Firstly, I can write the formula Laplace of the f divided by one minus lambda times Laplace of the this kernel. So, uh, if I write here is k, then Laplace of the k by using the convolution identity. So that means it is a Laplace inverse. What is the f? f is my x square laplace of the x square is 2 over s cube 1 minus lambda is my 4 find what is the k if you look at its x square so can you find the laplace of the x square is a 2 over s cube so 2 into 2 is 8 over s cube fine now it means your target is to find the laplace of 2 divided by s cube minus 8 is it okay now how you can get your answers in a simple manner now firstly you can look about the options the first option is u of 0 so clearly say if i start with the u of 0 it will be 0 plus 4 times integration from the 0 to 0 answer is 0 definitely because whatever the limits it will be 0 and how you can look about the second and third options it's a memory based question so that's why i, I never know what is a Uh, d options whether they are zero whether they are three or whether they are four so i can get the solutions how you can how you can expand this number so i can use the identity s minus 2 s square plus ab plus 4 fine i can also write in the completing square so this number will be s plus 1 square plus 3 is it okay now how you can write this so i can use the shifting first theorem on this number so 2 e raised to power 2t laplace inverse of 1 because shifting first theorem is apply on here so i can replace s to be s plus 2 this number will be s plus 3 square fine now again i can apply the shifting first theorem on this second part so 2 raised to power it's a e raised to power minus of 3t this quantity becomes 1 over s square plus 3 that is my sign of root 3 divided by root 3 because i can multiply by root 3 divided by root 3 then this number will be sign a over s square plus a square that is a number fine so finally your solution will be twice e raised to power minus of t divided by root 3 sign of root 3 okay if if it is if i write in terms of the x then you have to write in terms of the x now you can get the answer whatever the given options to you u of 0 sin of 0 is 0 root okay look at this 2 by root 3 clearly say when you substitute 2 by root 3 this number becomes my sin of pi so that number is 0 fine when you substitute root 3 by 2 this number will be my 3 over 2 pi What is the value of the sine three pi? It's a pi plus pi over two. 
that number is again my sine pi over 2 and sine pi over 2 is my 1 that number is my non-zero fine so that means the answer of this quantity will be 2 divided by root 3 e raised to power pi over 2 because this is the memory based question i never know what is the correct options similarly if somebody will ask you find the value of the 2 comma 1 or sorry find the value of u of 2 you can substitute them and get the right answers so this is a very simple way yes this is a uh, Laplace inverse you can so watch my this lecture on the Volta equations you can get the answer in a very reasonable time I hope you have solved both the questions correctly in the examinations let me know how many of you have cracked the options first question and the second questions I hope you can share this video with your friends I will upload the next video very soon once I receive the questions from the student till, till then you can share this video with your friends thanks for the watching happy learning